In this video, I'll guide you through the complete process of sideloading IPA files wirelessly to your iPhone or iPad using Sideloadly. Make sure both your PC and iOS devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. The wireless sideloading method will not work if the devices are on separate networks. Open your browser and go to the official Sideloadly website, sideloadly.io. Scroll down and download the Windows 64-bit version of Sideloadly. From the same website, download iTunes for Windows 64-bit and iCloud for Windows. Do not download iTunes or iCloud from the Microsoft Store. If you already have Microsoft Store versions installed, uninstall them first. At this point, you should have these three files downloaded to your computer, iTunes, iCloud, and Sideloadly setup files. Let's begin by installing iTunes. Double-click the setup file and follow the on-screen instructions to complete the installation. Once installed, launch iTunes. At the top menu, click Account, then select Sign In. Enter your Apple ID and password to sign in. After signing in, go back to the Account menu. Go to Authorizations and select Authorize this computer. Re-enter your Apple ID password when prompted and click Authorize. A confirmation message will appear once your computer has been successfully authorized. Now connect your iPhone or iPad to your PC using a USB cable. Keep in mind that the USB cable is only needed during the initial setup. After the setup, you can sideload IPA files entirely over Wi-Fi. In iTunes, click the small device icon that appears at the top. In the summary section, scroll down and check the option Sync with this iPhone over Wi-Fi. Then click Apply and allow iTunes to sync with your device. Once the sync is complete, you can unplug the USB cable. Your iPhone or iPad is now set up for wireless communication with your computer. Next, install the iCloud setup file you downloaded earlier. Follow the installation instructions. When prompted, restart your computer. After the restart, launch iCloud. Sign in with the same Apple ID used in iTunes and your iPhone. You don't need to enable any additional features like Drive or Photos. Just being signed in is sufficient. If your iOS device is running iOS 16 or later, you need to enable developer mode before you can sideload apps. To do this, open the settings app on your iPhone. Then scroll down and tap privacy and security. Here, find and tap on developer mode and turn on the developer mode toggle. After that, your device will prompt you to restart. Just do it. Now, let's install the Sideloadly app. Complete the installation by keeping all default settings. Once finished, launch the Sideloadly application. In the Sideloadly interface, look at the device drop-down. If everything was set up correctly, your iOS device should appear in the list as connected via Wi-Fi. Now enter your Apple ID in the provided field. Click the IPA icon to browse your IPA file. Select it and click Open. Once the IPA is loaded, click the Start button. Sideloadly will now begin the process of signing and installing the IPA file to your iPhone over Wi-Fi. Wait for the process to complete.
you will see the app icon appear on your home screen once the app has been successfully installed. After the app is installed, open the settings app on your iPhone. Navigate to General. Scroll down and tap on VPN and Device Management. Under the section labeled Developer App, you will see your Apple ID listed. Tap on your Apple ID, then tap the Trust button next to it. A confirmation prompt will appear. Tap Allow to confirm. This step is necessary to allow the side-loaded app to run on your device. Now return to the home screen. Locate the app you just side-loaded and tap to open it. If you followed all the steps correctly, the app should launch without any issues. And that's it. Your iOS app is now installed wirelessly using Sideloadly. Thanks for watching and I hope this guide was helpful.